This is Salisbury Fire Department's Training Minutes. David Haynes, Training Captain for the Salisbury Fire Department. We're continuing on with our hydraulic series of training minutes here. And we're building on this now. We're going to use this formula to establish the proper pump discharge pressure for a relay or supply engine, in this case a relay, from engine one to engine two. And we're going to identify, to get our pump discharge pressure, the residual pressure that we need, and then calculate for the friction loss using the Q squared or the hand method. So a quick refresher from previous training minutes, when we use the hand method, we're using the hand as a, as a calculator, as a memory jogger, and then from 100 to 500 gallons a minute, from left to right, each finger is a gallon per minute flow, 100, 200, 300, 400, or 500. And then to get to the three inch hose number, the first step that we would have to do is take our flow, divide it by 100, and then square that number to get our three inch friction loss number per 100 feet. So we're going to count with the flow, the size, and the length. The size we're dealing with is three inch hose. And in this particular example, we have 500 feet of three inch hose from engine one to engine two. And then we'll use a gallon per minute flow. Uh, we'll say that it's 400 gallons a minute. In a previous training minute, we talked about this formula and different roles on the fire ground where this would vary whether it was an attack engine or a relay or supply engine. In this case, it's a relay or supply engine. So instead of a nozzle pressure to calculate here, we calculate a residual pressure. And any time that we're going from pump to pump, we want to give that other driver operator at the other end, from engine one to engine two, I want to give engine two's driver a uh, pressure to work with beyond what we're flowing. So that residual pressure that we would calculate, we calculate 50 pounds. And then we're going to determine the friction loss between the two. So the first step, we take our gamma per minute flow, And we're going to divide that by 100, which essentially is knocking the zeros off. That's going to give us 4. And then using our hand method, 100, 200, 300, 4, 400 gallons a minute. Knock the zeros off 4. 4 times 4 to square it is 16. So that tells me that for 400 gallons a minute through 3 inch hose, there are 16 pounds of friction loss for every 100 feet. And then we're going to account for the length in the next part of this, which is 500 feet. The first thing that we'll do is take that length and do the same thing we did here. We're going to divide by 100, essentially knock the zeros off. That's five 100 foot sections of hose. So I take that times our friction loss. So I multiply those two numbers together, I should end up with 80 pounds. So from engine one to engine two, flowing 400 gallons a minute through 500 feet of three inch hose, there is 80 pounds of friction loss in the hose line. We're going to take that friction loss, plug it into our formula up here. Then we're going to add those two together and end up with a pump discharge pressure of 130 pounds. And then just as a habit of accounting for all the elements I would have to, to calculate the pump discharge pressure, I know that there's no devices in there and we're not going up or down, so those two elements would be zero. Just as a habit to always account for. Uh, we'll do another example here with a different flow and a different length. the same residual pressure because it's the same scenario. It's a relay operation from engine to engine or pump to pump. So I want to give that pump operator at the other end that 50 pounds of residual pressure to work with on top of what we're sending him that he's flowing. So in this case we're going to say 300 gallons a minute and we'll say it's uh, 600 feet of 3 inch hose. 
So we go back up here, flow, size, and length. We're dealing with three inch hose. The Q squared method to get us three inch hose on our hand method. First thing we do is 300 gallons a minute. We divide that by 100, which is, again, knocking the zeros off. That gives me three. Using our hand method, 100, 200, 300, three times three. There's nine pounds of friction loss. And then our length is 600 feet. So we take 600, divide that by 100. Again, knock the zeros off, that's six. I take these two numbers, multiply those together, and I end up with uh, 54. And that's the friction loss in the hose line from engine one to engine two, flowing 300 gallons a minute through 600 feet of three inch hose. That 54 for the friction loss, we plug in up here. No devices, no head pressure or elevation. And we add those two together, and we have 104 pounds of friction loss, pump discharge pressure total, friction loss and the residual pressure together between engine one and engine two. We'll do one last example. And we're going to keep the length the same. We're going to change the flow to an in-between number just so we get used to uh, calculating with that. And then as you see, what will change will be our friction loss. So instead of 300 gallons a minute, let's say it's 350. So we take our flow, and instead of simply dividing by 100 using the hand method, when we have an in-between number, 100, 200, 300, 350 falls between 300 and 400 gallons a minute, we cross multiply. So instead of dividing by 100, we cross multiply, and we end up with 3 times 4, 1, 2, 3, 300, 350, 3 times 4, will be 12 pounds of friction loss. So 12 pounds of friction loss through every 100 feet of 3 inch hose, flowing 350 gallons a minute. And then the length, we do the same step that we did earlier, 600 feet. Divide that by 100 to get 6. And then 6 times 12 would give us our 72 pounds of friction loss. We'll put that up here. Then we bring those two together. 122 pounds total from engine 1 to engine 2 with the residual pressure of 50 and the friction loss of 72. That's today's training minute, calculating the relay engine pump discharge pressure from engine one to engine two through three inch hose. Thank you.